In this video, we're going to be finding the area of this composite shape. The first thing I want you to do is try to separate this composite shape into shapes, individual shapes that you recognize that you know how to find the area of. This picture already kind of divides it for us with this dashed line. I can see that we have a triangle and we also have a half of a circle. So let's start by finding the area of the triangle. The formula for the area of a triangle is area equals base times height divided by two. I'm gonna start by finding the value of the base. So I look here at the dash line and it doesn't outright tell me the length of the base. So what I'm gonna to have to do is I'm gonna to have to deduce the length of the base from the information that I'm given. To do this, I'm gonna actually think about this value four feet, this length right here. And I wanna think about how that length relates to the circle. To do that, I'm going to try to draw the rest of this circle. So it looks like a full circle instead of just a half of a circle. And I think this will help us to see that this dot right here is really the center of the full circle. And the distance from the center of the circle to the edge of the circle is called the radius. So the radius of this circle is four feet. Now, if the radius of the circle is four feet, that will help us to find the base. Because if I know that the radius is four feet, I know that any distance from the center of the circle to the edge of the circle is four feet. So this distance from the center of the circle to the edge of the circle is also four feet. And this distance from the center of the circle to the edge of the circle is also four feet, making my base equivalent to eight feet. You could also think of it this way. If this line segment goes from one edge of the circle to the other edge of the circle through the center, this length is actually equal to the diameter. And if the radius is four feet, then you know that the diameter must be double that, so the radius would be, or the diameter would be eight feet. That little symbol right there means feet. So we found the base to be eight. The height is the line segment that is perpendicular to the base. So there's our perpendicular symbol, our 90 degree angle symbol. So this height of six feet is perpendicular to the base. So then we multiply eight by six, we get 48. And then 48 divided by two gives us an area of 24 square feet for the area of the triangle. So I'm going to go down to the bottom here and write the word triangle for the type of shape. And then I'm going to fill in the area on this side in this column. So 24 square feet. Next, we're gonna find the area of the half circle, the semicircle. To find the area of a semicircle, you take the area of the entire circle and you divide it by two because you only need half of the area of the circle because you don't have the full circle. We already established that the radius of the circle is four. Four squared is the same as writing four multiplied by four because the two tells you how many times to record the base. We record the base four two times. Four times four gives us 16. So instead of writing pi times four squared, we write pi times 16. And we don't wanna to forget to divide the area of the circle by two because we only need half of the area. Now when I type it into the calculator, pi times 16, enter, and then divide by two, I actually get 25.13274123 and it keeps going. But I didn't want to record all of that, so I rounded to the nearest thousandth place. So now, down here, I'm going to record the semicircle is the type of shape, so I'm just going to write half of a circle. And then I'll record in the area column the value 25.133 square feet. And then to find the area of the entire composite shape, 
you have to find you have to add the area of the triangle and the semicircle. So 24 plus 25.133 is equal to 49.133. And I said that for all of these examples, we're going to round to the nearest tenth. So that would round to 49.1. And at the end, I want to make sure that I write square feet. Remember for area, the units are always square units. 49.1 square feet represents the area of this entire surface, the area of this entire composite shape.